Hello guys, my name is Tian. Uh, sorry for the for the bit of a silence we've we've had. Uh, we've been quite busy, and uh, we've actually created something cool for you to look at today. Uh, what we've built here is a registration page with a dynamic checkbox section. So what this section does is, as the um, the website owners add courses to their course database, it dynamically creates checkboxes, and they don't have to come into the editor every time and create one manually and connect it to the database and so forth. This section creates the checkboxes dynamically, and as you see, they have quite a lot already. Uh, at this moment, there's about 100 courses created, and it will grow to, to a few hundred. And what this does is it, it acts like a normal checkbox. So you can click on it um, when you register, and you can say, look, I have uh, I can teach these skills uh, or these courses. And what this page does is it will create the tutor's profile and then it will create his courses specifically and then it will relate those courses to him so um, let's run you through the code real quickly and, and how does this work so what i've done is uh, i've created a, a basic perfectly rudimentary way of doing it but I've, I've used a repeater and this repeater i've connected to my course titles database now this is the the database that contains all the courses for the specific place um, and then what I've done simply is I've connected the course name to the title of the course um, I've used the text ID so you see here and I've placed it to hidden on load uh, so the client doesn't see it but we'll actually use it for the references in the code and I'll, I'll show you now how that works and then what I've done is very simply I've taken a, a checkbox a vector art that you can find in um, in the shape section in the basic shapes you can find a check mark and I've used a normal box element and I've called the checkbox and for the checkbox and for the course name I've added on click handlers as you'll see there so what do we do the first thing we do is when you click on the course name or the box it will show the item um, at this point all the check marks are hidden on load and then when you click the checkbox let's just find that really quick when you click the checkbox or the text what it does it says if the check mark is hidden show the check mark or if it's not hidden hide it um, basic way of, of doing this literally a, a if else statement just doing a, a hide and show effect uh, like this so you click and it shows so you'll notice all the other ones are hidden on load and then what we've done is well this page actually does a few things when you sign up for an account um, it does a nickname verification to see if your nickname um, has been taken already if it hasn't you can create it with this nickname else you should choose another one and then it actually creates the the profile first for this tutor in the database and after it's created this profile for the tutor, it then goes and it creates the courses related to this tutor. We'll do a quick demo now just to show you how it works. So code-wise, um, it does the verification for the um, nickname. Then it creates this member with a normal code, not through, not through the user interface. You'll see none of these elements have been connected through user interface. So we actually do it with the submit button. When it gets clicked, um, it runs the code to create a member and we create it with the two insert um, there's probably another ways of doing this but for for this purpose it worked quite well and then when it has finished creating the tutor profile we do a dot thin and one of the functions that run there is the create tutor courses um, function which we've written down here so the actual code related to the checkmark function is the little bit of code on top with if else statement and then this bit of um, code is where all the magic happens so what does it do? It says, repeater one for each item. If the check mark is not hidden, construct a course with the course name dot text. And just for clarification purposes, you'll see that it's this piece of text here. I've called it text course name, which is the same as this text course name dot text. And then I simply say to insert inside this uh, loop to insert title which is a course title and that is what we constructed up here the text course name dot text the course is the text id dot text that is that little hidden text underneath here that we've connected to the um, id field in the database and the reason we use that 
uh, will become apparent in the demo I'll do now, is um, because we use it as a reference field and those uh, accounts or those uh, profile courses will show up in this tutor's profile. And then we've simply said um, tutor and we use the unique nickname that he creates um, up here that we verified already. So we make sure there is no duplicates of this nickname and that way we can safely relate it to his account. So that is input three and you say tutor is input three dot value. And then we insert it into a separate database called the tutors courses. And this loop can run until it has no more again check marks and when it's finished, it sends the guy to a thank you page. So I'll, uh, I'll post this code in the Wix forum uh, below the video so you can, um, you can find it there. So let's quickly run a demo of how this will work. So I am Mr. Tian and the nickname I want is Tian Demo. I've actually run this on the on blur function on mouth out so the client actually doesn't even see it. it. It actually does the validation the moment you move out of it with your mouse. So I'm just going to do a few things here and just complete all the fields because they are required. We should actually create demo.com. And we've selected a few courses here. And these courses will now show up in my profile. Now I have to agree to the terms and conditions and I also have to create a password and then the submit button enabled. So once we click submit, you'll see that it's creating your profile. And this will take a second or two. Um, you can add a preloader here if you'd like. What this now does is it creates my profile in the tutors database first. Now it's creating my courses and that's now done. It's sending us to the thank you page. It says, thank you, your profile has been registered. We will be in touch. Now, if you click on my profile, I have an admin image or anything fancy, but here you'll see the courses that I've chosen are now related to me. It shows all these nice courses that I said I can teach and they are used simply by use of that reference field. So let's just show you how we set that up. I've used, um, created the, the tutor courses data set and that is the, the separate data set that or database that we use to store the specific tutors courses and I've connected this repeater to it and then I simply said tutor is the current name from nickname tutors item so this is a dynamic page and this tutor should be the tutor whose page this is and this repeater was simply connected um, to the tutors data set with the image being connected to this reference field. So you can see there it's a course titles and it's a reference with all these subheadings that it has um, that just shows you these are all related to the reference field. Um, guys, that's as simple as that. That's how you create a multi-dynamic checkbox section, whatever you'd like to call it. Thanks for checking in. Bye.